All right, she's already done here. That was fast. You guys, we are back in business. I love this camera, it's so nice. Uh, Canon actually gave us a brand new one, so it's perfect. So it's okay that you dropped it. <laughs> All right, so today um, we're working on the shed, or actually we're not working, we're having our awesome shed expert working on the shed. This is really exciting stuff because for a while we had to make sure that everything was up to code and um, so we had to just double check a bazillion different things and now we're all good to go and so first wall is going up Woohoo! nice that's a big old shed it's gonna be perfect yes are we gonna put everything in this old shed right here into it yeah, this, this shed we're going to use for, um... Oh, over there, right? Yeah, for my garden shed. But we've got to take it out and who knows what crap is in there. <laughs> yeah. We don't even know. There's going to be definitely a lot of, uh, scorpions and crap in there, but that's okay. And oh, we first we got to move all the stuff around the shed. Because yeah. it won't even fit inside the shed. Yeah, I know. We're going to take a lot of work really organizing it. It's gonna be nice, you guys. We're so excited. That went through the concrete? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that went through the concrete. So we're gonna have a door right here in the front and we actually still need to pour a little piece of concrete here for like a front porch. Um, and that will be later. We kind of didn't realize that until we were um, in it that we realized, oh shoot, we should have poured a little bit of a porch off the front. Um, so we'll do that later. So the door is just going to be one door in the middle, and then we'll have shelving all around, so we'll have plenty of space. And we'll have the huge pond generator in it. Let's go check on the garden real quick. Last night we were, uh, the irrigation Lydia went all throughout the garden. She doesn't care, she doesn't know why that would be a problem yet. I got really bad blisters from raking. See that? Didn't really think about it rubbing on that so hard. All right, it's uh, pretty wet. So we'll plant in this probably tomorrow. Plant? Already? Yep, it's nice and soaked. The water might not be all the way drained. It, it will be tomorrow, probably. Oh, that shed's gonna look so nice. All right, look at all this stuff we're gonna store. We are going to have like a Is there gonna fall be like cleaning and get rid of a ton of things and then organize it in there. It's coming along, guys, it's coming along. Look at this. Looks great, huh? That is gonna be an awesome, awesome shed. Oh, you guys. It seems so simple, but it's such a root, such a cool thing to have. Let's go look at it over here. Better be careful, I'm walking barefoot right here. Right in this mess. Looking good. So, we are, you remember the guy that delivered our wood chips? We offered to draw blood from his goat, because that's how we roll. Just a little um, trade-off. Just a little trade-off, just to be nice. Um, so anyway, uh, what you usually do is, you usually should test your goats once a year, and I have a whole article on it, and I'll link below. But essentially, uh, most people just test for like, there's probably like seven uh, diseases and before you can breed your goat with another goat, a lot of people request it. A lot of times when you're gonna sell your baby goats, you need to draw the blood and send it in. So, um, yeah, so for people that are new to goats and have never done it before, we like to help them out, and so we brought our syringe and 
our red top tubes and we're gonna collect blood for him and then he can send it into the lab. Um, so yeah, nothing else what we're doing. Well, this is another Luna goat, just like us. And we got an alpaca here, all right. Yeah. They've got a big property here, probably two and a half or three acres as compared to our one acre. Yeah, so where we live, we're kind of like in the city and we have neighbors a little bit closer to us, but if you look around here, I mean, it's just like, it's pretty good farmland. And this is what we kind of originally were looking for, but we just, we couldn't find anything. And then we realized we kind of like the idea of being closer in the city. So that's where we uh, ended up. All right, she's already done here. Know, that was fast. fast. And then that's it. And they'll, yeah. you know, they might bleed a little, but usually they don't. Yeah, yeah goats are usually pretty good about. And then you can just let her go, good to go. She's a pretty goat. Yeah, she is pretty. <laughs> Chewbacca, that's a good name. So, so then you have to get these uh, red top tubes. These are the only things that are tricky to get. You have to get them on Amazon. They don't have any additive in them. They're just a thing to preserve blood. Um, so you, you can get these at the feed store. Okay. Um, and then basically you want to hold that cap. Okay. And then basically you just insert it in. And it's already vacuum sealed, so it'll just pull it in on its nice. own. So then this needs to be refrigerated. And then when you send it in, you'll put a little ice pack with it. Okay. You just have to buy one and then just give it up. It's one of those disposable ones, you know? And so I can, we can go in and I'll, you can write down the site to send it to. It's called okay. um, Pan American Labs. Yeah, that's awesome. Go it's, awesome. Uh, and it's easy. It's super easy. You just, there's a little print off sheet for which uh, diseases to choose. And then there's also a little like shipping instructions. You just, and it doesn't have to be overnight. It can be like a few days. Got two horses too. That is way easier than a mule. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, we tried to give the mule a shot, or the, the vet did, and she ended up getting kicked by both oh, back my feet right in the abdomen. Oh and she my went, gosh. She went flying, late, you know, out on her back, and oh, luckily my gosh. she was okay. I'm and gonna then, have you hold those too. Yeah, she walked right behind him while he was feeling threatened, you know. With, she poked him like four times. Oh my gosh. He had his ears back. He this was, mule right here? Yeah. Wow. He that would like needles. That would <laughs> right, kill you. All right. We are done for the day, guys. We're back home and the camera's working really nicely. So thank you, Canon, for sending this one. There it is, y'all. There is the shed in which. I'm going to organize like the world has never seen. Right now it's a muddy, soppy mess because our whole backyard is still flooded. A little bit nervous about what's going on over here, but can't really do anything about it, so I'm gonna just roll with it. The water here has just started to proceed so I think we're just going to start planting probably tomorrow so we can get those seeds in there as soon as possible and then we'll see what happens. So you guys will join me and I'll do a full list of everything that I'm planting right now. Um, it's like half of the things we plant right now in August and then half of the things we plant in September. So it's going to be uh, only going to fill up like half the garden right now. All right, that's it. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day. Bye.